What's up, Kia2 Technical? I'm back again with another video. So today I just wanted to show you how I use my Mac Mini. So this is my Mac Mini M2 chip that I bought. I connected me a HD hub to the bottom so I could add more storage. Uh, I currently have my webcam running through it also. And then I also have my toner mic also connected with it. So far, this thing is a beast. I do enjoy using this Mac Mini. I'm still trying to learn things about it, but overall, this is very, very cool. These are some of the pre-installed apps that you get when you buy the Mac Mini. So, of course, you get the App Store, you get Safari, you get the mail app, you get your contacts, you get calendar, you get reminders, you get your notes, FaceTime, messages, maps, Find My, you get photo booths, you get your photo app, preview, Apple Music, podcast, Apple TV, voice memos, iMovie, if you want to use iMovie, you also get keynotes, numbers, pages, the weather, the news, stocks books uh the dictionary you get your calculator of course you get home clock siri your set your system settings then you get another folder with a whole bunch of different stuff that's pre-installed to your mac mini that i really don't use this stuff at all but it's there you also have luma fusion i actually downloaded that then on this next page here, I do have Freeform, Google Chrome. That is the uh, the website, the web browser that I like to use on my uh, Mac Mini. Simple to open up and simple to uh, use, just like that. And I can type something in just like that. So I use Google Chrome, even though this is mac os i use google chrome because i'm comfortable with using it then you get all cast review cracking sins racing i need to try to figure out how to get rid of that i also have sin anywhere the only reason why i have that is because i do have android devices and if i want to send one of my if i want to send something from my phone to my mac mini that's why i have sin anywhere and then I have DaVinci Resolve because I want to start learning how to edit on the Mac Mini instead of always picking up my phone to uh, edit on. So I do have DaVinci Resolve right here. I downloaded it and I'm going to try to test this out one day. But overall, this is currently what I have and use on my Mac Mini. This is the 256 variant. This is the base model. But overall, everything looks good and everything is working for me just fine. And currently, this is how I have it set up. I just wanted to make this video and show you what I used on my Mac Mini and how my little desk setup is. Even though it's not the best, it could be better. But this is what I'm working with for now. So just rate, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube tech channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Wow.